Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, you probably noticed my hair. I got a good chunk of it chopped off. It was like down here and yeah, probably like six inches chopped off. I got a balayage and I wanted to get bangs, but the hairstylist recommended that I try out bangs with these little curtain bangs. <laughs> so this is definitely a new look for me. I haven't had bangs in a pretty long time, so hope you guys like it. So I've been waiting all week for sublimation ink and mug blanks to come in because my last update I came out with four new mug designs and I made about a dozen or maybe about 15 mugs for that update and they all sold out pretty quickly but my sublimation printer is really low on ink and I wasn't sure how many more I could get out of it so I just bit the bullet and bought the sublimation ink which is so expensive but hopefully I can get a bunch more out of that and yeah so I'm gonna be heat pressing a bunch of mugs today so I'll probably show you that but I did record earlier this week how I packaged my mugs because a lot of people package them with bubble wrap or with styrofoam or just, you know, not very eco-friendly packaging. So I filmed that on my GoPro on my head so that you could see packing it from my point of view. And I'm just going to show you what I use so that in case you're packaging any fragile stuff or mugs, you know how to package them with eco-friendly materials or similar materials. Hey guys, so it's Monday and I just had a shop update this past Friday and I had some new mugs on that shop update so I wanted to show you guys how I packed those mugs and I haven't put you guys on my head in a while so I figured that would probably be the best angle to show you guys. So let me show you the setup that I have right now. So this is the closet next to the packing desk and I hung up my tissue paper. This one was gifted to me by No Issue Co. And this one is from Eco Enclose. It's 100% recycled and recyclable. Uh, this is also from Eco Enclose, which I'm gonna use to pack the mugs, but it's kind of like a paper bubble wrap and it stretches and gets pretty fluffy. And I have some boxes there that I'm going to pack the mugs in that I got a long time ago from Uline, but once I run out of those, I'm just going to order them from Eco Enclose so that they're 100% recycled as well. And then these were some ready to ship tab locking boxes from Eco Enclose, which are 100% recycled. And down here I have the new mugs that I made. I pre-cut some water activated tape to use on the boxes. I'm kind of running low on the water activated tape and it's like a little messed up because I think one, it's, one of the sides got wet. So I just pre-cut it and, and remove this m messed up part here just to make it neater and so that it sticks properly. And then here I have some spring fill which I got from bagsandbowsonline.com and I think it's made partially from recycled materials. So this I'll use uh, just as extra filler for the mugs. And I also use them in these boxes, like when I get multiple, like a lot of jewelry item orders. And let me show you some of the new mugs that I made. These are for Potty Mouth and they're also sticker designs, but I just sublimated them last week onto mugs. So this one says, manifest that shit. This one is ray of fucking sunshine. This one's carpe that fucking DM. And get shit done. So I'm really excited for these. And I've shipped sublimated mugs before. Um, that I used to sell on Etsy and none of them have been broken in transit so crossing my fingers knocking on wood that that is the case for all of these okay so for this order I got four stickers and a mug so 
We got this mug. And then got one of these. One of these, one of these, and this one. I just like checking because sometimes they, they're scratched up. I feel like this one has a little scratch on the E, so I'm going to pick another one. And these I usually set aside so then I can sell a seconds one day. That's just what happens when you order larger quantities from a manufacturer. You can't really expect everything to be perfect. So these I just package in a glassine. So there are their stickers. For the mug, I'm going to stuff with spring fill, grab a nice shoe tissue paper. I'm gonna have a big mess of spring fill on the floor <laughs> once I'm done. So it's just to protect the handle a little bit and then the inside of the mug. Now I'm just wrapping it like a burrito. And since this is my first time selling mugs in a long time, I decided to make these little stickers. They say that they're small batch made by me, handle with care, microwave, dishwasher safe, and so on. And I also did it so that if I ever want to like pre-package all the mugs like this and, um, you know, not forget the phrase of the mug, I can just put this on. So this one was a manifest that shit. And so it serves a few purposes. It's so that I know what phrase I packed, um, so that it sticks this together without me having to tape it and for the customer to get care instructions. are six by six by seven they work really well for one mug have I put two mugs in here before I guess we'll find out it's been a while you can just use some water activated tape And I'm going to grab some of this. And then you just spread it so it gets fluffier.
And then I just fill any of the extra void with some more spring fill. Okay, put a little more and I'm really pressing it down in there. And then these I'm just going to stick in the side. And that'll stay really flat and not go anywhere since there's so much spring fill. And I'm just putting it on the side so that if the customer cuts open the box, it won't damage anything inside. for Ashlyn C. And then I'll just put the shipping label here and then a little Happy Mail sticker. And water activated tape is super strong. Like, I never find that I need more than this. And if you notice Amazon packages, like that's basically all they put on their packages too. So it's super strong. Okay, the next order is pretty similar. So I'm just gonna pack it the same. So I still have quite a few mugs to pack over today and tomorrow, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I pack mugs because uh, not everyone uses plastic-free packaging. Like a lot of you, a lot of people use bubble wrap or uh, styrofoam peanuts. So I just wanted to show one way to make it plastic-free, and also this is much more affordable than buying those. I think they're called like shatterproof boxes so those are pretty pricey and for an 11 ounce mug which you can't really sell for that much money you don't really want to spend even more just trying to use a shatterproof box and also um, usually they're not made of like recycled materials or that eco-friendly so yeah Okay, back to present me. I hope that was helpful or just fun to watch because I know a lot of you guys like watching packaging footage, but I'm about to put mugs away in my Alex drawer so that they're easy to access. I know my printer probably has like a tiny bit of ink left, so I'm just going to try to print off as many designs as I can on sublimation paper until I start to notice the ink fading just so that I'm using as much of it as possible and then once it gets to that point I'll add in those new ink cartridges and just sublimate I don't know for the rest of the evening <laughs> we're making a late night trip to Michael's because I need more HTV to make the tote bags and I ordered it on the 25th 
and it's still stuck in transit and delayed and there's no update on the tracking so HGTV. hopefully it's HTV not HGTV okay. <laughs> so hopefully we can find some white sizer easy peel HTV here I love Michael <sighs> who's Michael he owns this place So we found the Sizer Easy Weed vinyl, but the one that I get is 12 by 15 inches for $2.99. And what they have here is 12 by 60 inches for $30. <laughs> so 12 by 60 for mine would be $12, but they're charging $30 here. So I'm just going to wait for mine to come in to make more totes. Right, babe? Where are you going? <laughs> right, that's what you would do, right? I don't like Michael anymore. He's yeah, that would these. that would yeah, that would make the totes significantly more expensive, so I'll just wait for another update. So I've set everything up. I'm waiting for my mug press to heat up. I've been printing my designs. There's two designs per page and I've got a few here. I'm just trying to see how much I can get out of the low ink <laughs> that's on here before I need to replace. Uh, I have a big bowl of lukewarm water so that I can dunk the mugs in after they're done pressing and not everyone does this but when i don't do this i experience ghosting on my mugs so just to prevent any ghosting i'm just gonna dunk it and then that way i don't have like hot mugs laying around and they'll get cooled off i haven't had issues with cracking either so it seems like this method works really well i've got a clean towel just so that the mugs aren't dripping everywhere i use the paper cutter to um, cut on the guidelines and I've got my heat resistant tape this one is Cricut brand I was gonna buy a yellow one that's on Amazon but basically all the reviews on the yellow one said that it didn't work well for mugs because it would leave a yellow mark on the mug and that the Cricut brand tape is a little pricier but they don't have that issue so I just decided to go on the safe side and go with the blue one. Oh, my mug press is done heating up and then I've got my mugs down here. So let's get to pressing. <laughs> That's not like let's get to pressing. Huh? Let's get to pressing. While this one's going, I'll start taping the next one if I can get it all taped up. 
before it finishes. But you also don't want to rush it because you want the designs to be nice and straight. Thank you.